Absolutely. Hello and good morning. This is Dr. Jerry Cuomo. I'm here with another rescue case. Um, this is the the actual x-ray that I'm showing right now. Uh, it is a Biomet 3i case uh, that was referred to me by uh, a, a dentist that practices, I believe, here in Florida as well as New York City. Um, we have a screw fragment um, and it's located as you can see right in this zone right here. We're probably going to be measuring that about um, two millimeters in length. Looks like the bottom half of the screw. Most of the Biomet 3i screws have a long shaft that come from the threaded portion. That area is where we normally see the fractures occur. So it must have been a loose tooth, a loose uh, implant uh, abutment, and then in the, the fracture occurred. So uh, good news, uh, just from the x-ray, looks like we have a nice rim here. We don't know, really don't know truly if there has been prior access uh, or someone has already made an attempt. So we're going to find that out by just visualizing the topography of the fracture itself. We're also going to pre-soak the area after we gain access uh, to the uh, fixture. So next step is to uh, expose the, uh, the fixture now. All right, I'm going to insert a little dry angle and put that in place. Okay, so there's our, I have a micro suction tip, please. There's our, our implants. Um, you can see one of them is peeking out to the labial aspect, so it has a little window or fenestration, so we can actually see that portion. I'm going to use a micro suction now, and we'll just go ahead and suction that up. And just going to view the top of the uh, ah, so it is an external hex, and definitely there was prior access. You can see the burnix in there. Uh, and a lot of the, the, the actual vertical length uh, of the hex itself is now reduced. So um, our mission is to see if we can get this, uh, this screw fracture out, fragment out. Uh, it's unfortunate to see, hold that please, to see the, uh, the abrasion here. All right, so once I get the tissue out of the way, we'll be able to visualize this a lot more and then test it for any mobility. That's step one. So I'm going to test that uh, the tissue. Let me know if you feel this, all right? Does that bother you at all? Nothing tender? A little. A little bit? So we're going to give you a little bit more anesthetic, just so you don't feel it at all, all right? He did? Yeah. Okay, so there was prior access and, and grinding by the previous dentist. Okay, yep. Alrighty. Yeah, the, the best time to treat these are always uh, when I am when I get them. Well, I'm the first one to get them. And then it's, a, it's really easy to get them out. Sorry for the pinch. Just give me a little more local and a lingual aspect and then we'll come in sorry about that okay we're ready to rinse that suction please okay thank you turn a little bit to your left we'll rinse and suction that's good this is our provisional that the patient came in with looked like they added a little bit to the occlusal aspect a relatively flat plane and uh, I'll come back in test again anything now you're comfortable okay so um, I'm gonna initially let's go with a f uh, 4 a 4-0 just uh, that off. 
Okay. So we're just going to take some of this tissue away. Okay. So I'm coming in from the lingual aspect now, coming right over the top of the implant. And uh, if we can do a, just a circumferential guiding. Okay, so I'm right on top of the implant now. I'm seating it. Uh, cotton plier. Okay, I'm ready. Can you get a little surgical suction tip in there for me? Okay. Let's have another cotton plier. All right, surgical suction, please. Okay, go right up in there. Great. Good for you. That's good. All right, let's rinse that toward you. Okay, very good. Okay. Keep the suction right on that. Okay, and back it up just a hair. That's good, like right there. Okay, well, then we got a lot of coal welding in there, and um, this is a, a chemical cautery now. Just going to get rid of some of the, the bleeding. Okay, so we have a situation where it's coal welded, and half of the hex is gone, and it's a ran it all the way down on the side of the, the fixture. We can make an attempt to get it out, and if it's something that they can salvage via a non-engaging impression coping, then, then you know, we, we, they can probably go with it. So we'll make an attempt. So we're going to go ahead and drill a little pilot hole in the middle, slot it, and see if that can, uh, can do it. All right. So there's no need to pre-soak at this point. And I'll go ahead and rinse that. I just got to practice. Just keep your suction tip right there. You'll be fine. Okay, so we're going to test it for mobility. Obviously, it's coal welded, which means that there's metal to metal. Yeah, so there's absolutely no movement. So right about here, we'll have to put a small little pilot hole, and we'll try to do a little slot and drill out. All right. So I'm going to set up for that. I'll be right back with the next segment. Uh, with this interesting uh, case. Hopefully we can rescue it.